Uh, uh, Coach, a bit of an obvious question, but you guys are second in the league in starting field position. Uh, my question is mainly uh, how much has that been an emphasis for you guys, and you know, what are some of the areas that that benefits? Well, look, it, it benefits uh, everything because it's, it's hidden yardage. It's um, all your percentages scoring-wise, where you start with the football. Uh, it's, it's a big part of our kicking game, but it's also there's – there's a sequence last week where we get the ball on the one-yard line, half-yard line um, coming out. And two first downs or 20 yards puts the ball back in a neutral field position. Now, fortunately, we were able to get more yards, and then I think we punted that series – but that's a significant example of the opponent starting as opposed to midfield, you know, on their end of the field. And so whether it's the return game, whether it's the coverage unit, defense or offense, all of it directly uh, uh, contributes to scoring. And if you study hidden yardage as it relates to points, um, I think you can see then the, the, the significance. Hey, Sean, on yesterday, um Emmanuel Sanders talked about it was the most exciting game he'd ever been a part of, you know, for now, Saints game last year. Um, even though the Saints didn't win it, how, how fun was that game for you? And just what do you remember about that atmosphere on that regular season game? Well, look, we, we were just talking about uh, – we were just talking about it. You know, you wa watched the tape early in the week. I, I just finished watching it a third time. Uh, obviously, there were a ton of flows to that game. Um, so many different elements to it. You know, you don't you don't remember them all until you watch it again. Uh, and good for the offenses, not as good for the defenses. And um, yeah, I mean, I it, it was just the the lead changes and everything that took place uh, was was certainly unique. Hey, Sean, speaking, of, speaking of the sorry, speaking of the atmosphere, um, obviously fans, no fans has been a big topic this season. It's 6,000 now. It's still not 10%, but do you maybe have like a message for the people that are going to come or anything you hope to see from the fans, even though it's only 6,000, it's still more than what you've been playing in front of? Yeah, and look, our last home game, we noticed a difference from the very beginning where it was, you know, completely sterile. And so as, as we progress through uh, the season and, and continue to, um, have more fans, we, we, we certainly appreciate it and feel the difference. And so, um, yeah, that, that's, that's something that uh, there's just such a passion with our, with our uh, fan base that um, that little bit matters. Have you guys have been able to drastically reduce the penalties these last several games? I, I guess you can't really, you know, go through a whole new method of teaching, but is it mostly just discipline now? Well, there, there's several elements to it. Um, you know, the, the crew we have this week is the crew we had when we played Green Bay. I think we had nine penalties in that game. So that's certainly been a, a point of emphasis this week. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's good to see those, those numbers drop. Uh, I think that's going to be important for us, not only in this game, but moving forward. Sean, with Demario getting more snaps as a Mike linebacker, what do you guys get out of having him at that spot as opposed to uh, the weak side? Yeah, well, look, there's so much nickel played that he's he's playing the same position. So you're really talking about the handful of snaps when we're in base defense. Um, he's comfortable with it, it you know. And it, it, again, it's it's not been a drastic change, uh, but we, you know, we've. We, we feel like it's our best lineup. Has this been the lowest amount of, of base you guys have played with the, you know, the more, more dime stuff that you guys are doing? I think it's probably like, feels like 20 snaps probably the whole season. Well, forget dime or forget nickel. It, you know, we've been in both on third down. We've been in um, a handful of personnel packages. But to your original question, how much base, a lot of it it's opponent driven. Um, you know, these guys run the football extremely well. And so you're, you're really studying personnel packages and making those decisions. 
Tom, when you're adding a player in midseason like you guys did with Quan, uh, how much goes into seeing if, uh, whether that player will be a culture fit, if any? Like, do you guys go out and reach out to like old, old coaches and stuff? Everyone, yeah, absolutely, we do. And um, just the feedback was overwhelmingly positive. Um, that and that's you know really encouraging. But yes. Coach, you've had some great offensive linemen that have played for you, like Jari Evans and Carl Nix. Do you see any similar traits in McCoy and Lee? And if so, what are they? Well, look, these guys are young players. Uh, obviously, with McCoy, I mean, he, he's come in day one as a rookie, started at center. He's strong. He's powerful. He's smart. He loves football. Um, we like the group that we're working with right now. It's a close-knit group. Um, you know, I could, I could start with the tackles outside and go through every one of these players, but, uh, you know, generally speaking, uh, you, you have to draft, uh, and, and hit on your draft picks and then, and then pick and choose when you're wanting to, to supplement that group with, with free agents. And I think we've done that well. Thanks. Don, did you, uh, did you guys scout Mullins all when he's coming out of Southern Miss and uh, if not I, I guess what have you seen from him as a pro? Yes and yes I mean we, we we're familiar with the player and uh, he, he's doing well he's extremely extremely accurate he's a rhythm thrower you could see he, he's well coached Kyle and those guys do a great job of coaching that position um, you know all the things that you want from from that player they play real good defense they run the football well there's a balance to everything they do and uh, he's functioned very well in it.